Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Why wasn't I invited to your party last night? You got a hangover? All that fake cheese got you sick? You ever have one of those mornings when it seems that you can't do anything right? Hi, I'm Chris Perillo, and that's my day so far. Doing my best to set things straight. I'm heading out to get a cup of coffee that I should enjoy. I'm looking forward to enjoying because I don't know if I want to get online for the rest of the day. It's uh, it's nothing but a wall of negativity right now, specifically in relation to my experiences and my demonstrations of technology. They uh, seem to have offended a set of people that I don't really consider a part of our community, so I guess I shouldn't be taking it so hard. I was up late last night working on things, like late, 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 because I had to get it done. It's the thing, when you are an entrepreneur, you own your own business, you can't just pass the buck. You can't just expect that it's going to happen. You have to take care of it. The good news is, though, I'm going to be heading off to Olympia tonight, and that's because tomorrow morning I'm keynoting the Governor's Conference on Social Media. So that's going to be kind of fun. That's an honor, really, to have been invited to do that. Coffee's starting to leak through. I think I just realized something. Multitasking's a waste of time. I mean, I enjoy being able to do more than one thing at any given moment, but when I have to focus on one thing over everything else, I seem to get more done. I plowed through a few emails that have been sitting in my inbox that I just haven't responded to this week. I could only do one thing on my screen. And I got work done, more work than I would have done if I had more than one thing to do, or at least more than one thing to look at. Multitasking, stupid. Okay, maybe it's not stupid, it's just inefficient. That is the, no joke, fifth cop I have seen today. I don't know why. Maybe there are a lot of Sunday drivers, although that term usually means people who drive slowly. I go the speed limit. Those fish are clearly biased. Since I am going to be presenting in front of a whole bunch of government officials, I'm going to go ahead and wear something that has a collar on it. It's been a while since I've put something like this on. Hope I remember how to get it to work. I think it's just one arm goes on one side, the other. Hmm. It's getting dark outside. It's light inside. I can change that. Hang on. Boop. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Boop. By the way, that sound effect, that was me, not the light switch. We should probably be taking off at some point in the very near future, because uh, we have about a 90 minute drive to go. Haven't really eaten anything all day. And it's uh, very difficult to vlog and eat popcorn in the bag at the same time. Hun? Hun? We should probably leave. Oh, dang it, I thought you were downstairs. Why? Because then you couldn't have heard me say that we have to go. Um, Whoa, holy cow, dude. Do you think I should wear this tomorrow? Looks fine on you now. This is entertainment. <laughs> you changed like three times. Why? You didn't need to change once. I like that. You do? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to wear now? Um, Show the camera. I can't touch it because I'm eating. But they don't know where we're going. Yeah, they do. I already told them. Oh, they do? But you didn't know that. Oh. They know before I know? Uh-huh. Because I was recording it earlier and you weren't here. You were changing. Yeah, 6,000 times. But you can't come, Wicket. <laughs> the lens cap can, though. Yeah. Just 
found out about this Google Chrome extension today, Instagram for Chrome. It's free, and with it, you can more easily browse your profile and all the latest photos that your friends are uploading right here from within Google Chrome. You can also like, comment, and follow new users like me. And if you're not following me yet, you should, because on Thanksgiving Day, one of my Instagram followers is getting this iPad mini. Aw, oh, man. I don't qualify. This thing weighs 50 pounds. We're only going to be there overnight. I only packed a t-shirt, change of underwear and socks, and a jacket. <sighs> we are now streaming the state of our garage door to the internet. We'll be able to answer the question, did I shut the garage door with just a couple of taps instead of having to turn around and check. Although I got to tell you, I wish it had better low light performance because I can't tell if it's open or shut at night. Diana's head is telling me that it's time to go. We have an hour and nine minutes to kill, hon. Are you bored already? From this point on, I'm not talking. Until when? This is going to be a very boring vlog. Got it. For me? Yes. Oh, you're so sweet. I think we're in an older building, but it's pretty nice, and the service is great. Yes. Wait, is this the fifth floor or the fourth floor? Fourth. I'm a little thrown off. It smells kind of funky. 405. 405. I don't know. <sighs> they give you ample room. It just smells older. It's vintage. We got a tube TV. Yeah. Like, YouTube? That's where the tube part of YouTube comes in. <laughs> I don't think many of the kids these days have ever seen a tube TV. No. I remember TV when it was black and white. Oh, I wonder if this one's color. We found a quaint corner cafe, which seemed to be about the only place that was open. They have everything. And I mean everything, including a Ms. Pac-Man machine. Ruben, Ruben, I've been thinking what a world it would be with mashed potatoes and gravy. And Diana, you got a veggie salad? Uh-huh. That's small. If you guys ever find your way to Olympia, you have to come here. King Solomon's Reef. Such an amazing bargain. It's so good. Best Ruben I've had in ages. And this may be the best Ruben of my entire life. I know. It's rainy and windy right now, but <clears throat> I'm telling you, uh, we will be driving 90 minutes from Seattle back to Olympia just for that Reuben sandwich. I'm going to set my alarm for 6 a.m., which means you should probably be getting up at 3. It's going to be an early morning. 
It's time for us to go to bed. It's also time for you to share and like this video, if you want. But we hope you do.